Hey everyone, just a little update on the Trampa project. I pretty much finished assembling the whole board with most of the relevant parts. As you can see, this is gonna be the battery box. Batteries go in there. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to probably soft mount it somehow, put some padding inside the uh, battery tray. There's gonna be plugs and stuff coming on here. For now, I'm gonna use these battery packs. These are old three cell batteries that I had a while ago. I used to use on my bigger drones. What I did is I made two of them in series. So these are actually six cell 2600 milliamp hour cells. Three of them in parallel, so that gives me almost an 8,006 cell. And I have two of these packs, so this is going to equal to about 8,000 milliamp hour 12 cell pack. We'll see how long that's going to last. The front is basically finished. Wheels are mounted, everything is tight. Bindings are there. I still have to figure out what to do with this little bit of a mess. They don't come with much of in the way of hiding most of this stuff like the receiver I'm gonna have to come up with a clever way of hiding this I think eventually I'm gonna design a little box for back here I think I'm gonna actually do it I'm gonna 3d print it just to make sure it fits and then probably cut it out of aluminum because these have aluminum heat sinks on the ESC's so I'm thinking I'm gonna create some kind of an aluminum box with just a plexi cover on it so I can actually see what's going on but that should give me a better protection from the weather and, and the receiver things like that the one little odd thing about this is that it comes with high strand count cables and then these are censored motors and the sensors cables are just tiny little cables in there so they give you these big silicone wires but then the sensors come on this flimsy little cable, so I don't know. I think I'm going to basically cut it and extend it out with the main cables with, sil with thin silicone wires. That way I can still use sen sensors on the motors. Or I'm going to try doing sensorless, and if the, everything performs well, well without the sensors, I think I may just cut it out. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh... Uh, basically most of the parts are used the only thing that's left is a bunch of cables and some extra plugs and things like that and it comes with these little adapters where you cut out an equivalent piece of uh, steel mesh and that goes on the back of the motor to protect it from uh, from dust uh, I just actually 3d printed a little casing uh, this oh, the my printer screwed up Oh well, I'm gonna have to reprint this. But the idea is you put this around the belt, like so, and that gives you extra protection so that you're gonna get debris into the belt drive. But my 3D printer, I think this thing uh, probably, yeah, during the print, the uh, it didn't hold on to the bed. Half of it is good, but the other half failed. So I'm going to have to reprint this, probably using some support so it doesn't come unglued from the bed again. But that's the idea. So that's going to be protected with uh, with this type of cover. And I'm probably going to do something for this as well. So this is all going to be eventually covered to protect it from debris and, and dust and things like that. So yeah, it's coming along good. I got my laptop here. I'm going to load the software for the ESCs and get it going get it tested out to make sure that all that works i hooked up a battery to it and i tried throttling throttling up with the remote but it didn't start so i think the escs still need to be programmed and uh yeah other than that i'll talk to you guys when i get it running and then probably the next video is video is when i'm gonna be ready to uh give it a try okay take care